Congratulations, Professor Arnold. Thank you so much. What has today been like? It's a magical odyssey, a celebration of what I love best, which is science. How wonderful is that? Yeah, that's wonderful, <laughs> of course. You, you have a background as a mechanical and an aerospace engineer, and then you turn toward proteins. That's an interesting step from big stuff to small stuff. How has your background affected your research? Engineers love to solve problems. And I think that that mindset really set the way that I approached engineering the biological world. It's very hard to do that and do better than evolution. But as an engineer, I could come in and say, here are the features we want to have. What's the best process that was already invented by nature? It's called evolution. You brought some different ideas, I think. Well, with your different background as well. Well, I brought in the desire to use this to do something beneficial for society, for the planet, and for the future. And as many Nobel laureates, you have also experienced criticism. Um, people who didn't think of your science, uh, your work as science. What kept you going then? Oh, well, scientists get criticism all the time. It's part of the scientific method. But we have to learn how to take the criticism, the parts that are useful, and use those to improve, and just set aside all the parts that are not so useful. Mm. So what keeps me going is that ability to recognize what I can take from that, and to completely ignore the rest. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a good recipe. <laughs> you meet young students occasionally. Uh, in, in what way are they a source of inspiration to you? The young students, they have this joy of science, and they have no boundaries, right? No one has ever told them, or they haven't heard it yet, that you can't do this, that you can't achieve that. They still think everything is possible. And it's my job, as an older scientist, to make that dream flower and to make that possible. So what's your advice to young students today? Stay in science. It's the best possible career. Uh, to have something joyful every day and to use your brains to better the world or to discover knowledge that's never been discovered before. How could you do better than that? Thank you very, very much, Professor Arnold, and enjoy this evening. I intend to. <laughs>